Welcome to the world famous Clown Motel in Tonopah, Nevada. Located just a few hours away from Las Vegas, the title world famous might be a little liberal use of that phrase, although it certainly is notorious. What seems like it could be straight out of a Stephen King nightmare, the Clown Hotel is decorated with thousands of clowns. If that wasn't bad enough, Is this their cemetery? There's dead bodies, there's dead bodies down there. Which if the clowns didn't creep you out enough, I think the cemetery might, might help you out a little bit. Let's go see what Dan's up to right now. We're here with our friends, DJ, yeah. DJ, and Haim. and Haim. Okay, so we just checked in at the Clown Motel. Yes, what's special about this place? There is uh, no other motel. It's like a clown motel. It has a cemetery. This is one of a kind in the world, this motel. That's this is a special motel. What about the people that live here? What's special about the people who live here? They're miners. Miners. They used to be gold mines. Gold miners. Still have, we, yeah, we have silver. Still so you would say that these miners are chasing the American dream, maybe? Yeah, though each and everybody's chasing the gold and silver. Do you know what your American dream is? Yeah. Can, would you like to share it? <laughs> to become a millionaire. <laughs> What's good about becoming a millionaire? That's the that's American dream. You guys are really providing an awesome service for us who came here. Thank so you. I want to thank you for that and for this experience with these clowns. You know, it's one of a kind. And I really think that people would have a fun time if they just visited here and checked out your cemetery. Anything haunted about this place? They have all the time some stories. I believe because they say you came from North Carolina, somebody coming from Germany telling the same story. They talk about the bathroom door opens and shut. They can hear the voices and they just stop move and then find in bathroom. Which bathroom and which room? Uh, 108 and 111. We're, we're in 111. I thought it was just Chris exercising demons. We are staying in room 111, which is called The Exorcist. Doesn't that just make you want to sleep real nice and cozy in your bed? The Exorcist. And if that doesn't creep you out enough, there is a very terrifying painting of a clown. The room was rented by a man who was terminally ill, and one of his last requests was to die in this room. Unfortunately, that didn't exactly go according to plan, because he went out to the parking lot and blew his brains out. Isn't that nice? Rumor also has it that he asked the ghost to take his life and they refused. That should just be a little good piece of advice. You'll only die at the clown motel if you don't want to die. So just want to die and you'll be okay. Caution, museum has some haunted clowns. Are you still want to enter? While the signs may give a very mixed impression, their website leaves very little room for interpretation. Let fear run down your spine, they say, as you're about to check into your hotel room, which is exactly what you want when you're staying in the middle of nowhere. Tomopah is the type of town that quite literally describes the middle of nowhere. An incorporated piece of land that was once home to a silver boom, in fact, it was the second biggest silver strike in the entire state of Nevada. After mining cooled down, the ones that hit it biggest went on to invest in hotels inside of Reno, Nevada. Today, the town is home to about 2,500 people, which is a lot more than I expected to be 100% honest with you. Nestled on a lonely highway between two desolated cities, Tonopah's history has had plagues and... What? Mine fires. Got it. <laughs> plagues and mine fires that have killed literally dozens of people. Literally dozens of people. It's also home to a meteor that landed in 1894, weighing 2,000 pounds. Could this be the inspiration for Stephen King's It? We all know It came in on a meteor. However, it's not the connection to this killer clown that started this motel. It opened in 1985 when two brothers built it in memory of their father who they buried at the cemetery next door. He left behind 150 clowns which the sons decided to use as the focal point of their motel. Since then, the clown collection has grown along with its notoriety. <clears throat> it is known as America's scariest motel. No As if the clown motel wasn't gonna freak you out enough. Speaking of scary ghosts, let's go check in with Tyler, who's in the cemetery right now, that lucky All right, you guys, we are currently outside of the clown motel in the Tonopah Cemetery, established in May of 1901. This cemetery is located within feet of the hotel, and in it contains the pioneers of this small mining town. This cemetery that houses about 300 graves was retired only 10 years later, when the number of bodies outgrew the small plot. 
Some of the residents died from the mysterious 1902 Tonopah Plague, the Belmont Mine Fire, suicide, and even murder. These types of crazy deaths have plagued this town from the very beginning. Let's take a look around and look at this spooky place. Oh, there must be a lot of Christians here. This is some spooky I can see how this hotel is riddled with ghosts. Woo, spooky. I wonder if there's clowns buried here. I hope so. Wow, this is very VIP. A gate and a headstone. Okay, I see you. Okay, I see you. What the f is this about? This is the grave of Vina Verolt. She and her friend ran a love syndicate. These women claimed to be wealthy widows and seduced wealthy men to give them money and fine goods. One man actually fell in love with Bina when she refused his intentions and didn't return his gifts. Bina was arrested and it was determined that these women collected over $100,000 in goods and money, which is estimated at 2.5 million in today's money. During the trial, Bina pawned some rings and fled. And a year later, she found herself here in Tonopah, but eventually died of alcoholism on the run. Ouch. There's literally a can of Bud Light right over there. I can't tell if that's respectful or disrespectful. So this device apparently tells you where the ghosts are. Let's see if it works. Hmm. Doesn't seem to be working. <gasps> I did. I think we got something, you guys. Oh, Ooh, spooky. All right, let's check back with Michael. Today, there are over 2,000 clowns throughout this hotel. And with 30 rooms, you're promised at least two clown paintings in each room. Lucky you. Depending on which room you pick, the scarier the clown. This was the scariest movie, in my opinion, when I was a kid. Friday the 13th. Jason really scared me. And who paints these paintings, you may ask? One of the owners, Haim. Super, super nice guy. They range from cute to incredibly terrifying. Bile, bile. From clowns throwing up bile to clowns falling off shelves the moment we walk in, this clown hotel has definitely given us the heebie-jeebies to say the least. Although the clown motel can be a little bit creepy, it is quite the lovely place to spend the night. Chris, we are not staying here. No, we are. No. No, 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 no. You know, some people definitely have a love for clowns. Other people literally have to talk to a therapist about it. I think I might be one of those people. I didn't think I was. You might not think you are either until you come here yourself and experience it. The whole entire hotel definitely gives you an ominous energy and the cemetery right next door definitely doesn't help it out. Don't expect this hotel to be going anywhere anytime soon. The owners have made a sworn oath to only sell the hotel to the next owners who wish to keep the clowns. That is a indefinite requirement. Also, I think the renovation just might scare the living daylights out of them if they tried. While the rooms range from modest to dingy, you can most definitely mark this down as one more stop in strange America. Let's go cut to Chris, who's probably playing with his in the room. I'm just sorry. Let's go cut to Chris, who's probably hanging out in the room. My prayers are with him. Oh. Oh. oh, thanks, Michael. Well, as you can see, we've checked into the hotel room, and there's a lovely photo of a very beautiful woman behind us. I don't know what this uh, stuff is on her nose, but it's enlightening, and there's another piece over there. I saw a few pieces in the graveyard, too. I'm, I'm grateful for Haim's art. Mm. Now, as you noticed, the dog is uh, a little cuddled up to me right now, which is funny because he's not my dog and he never does this. But since we've arrived, he's just been like sniffing in odd corners and just like running his head into the wall. Oh. We've noticed like, sorry, mm. Mm. that's good pizza. Oh. 
dry. We noticed that he was sniffing around the bathroom and scratching at the walls at just like random places and it really made no sense. Believe it or not, we are in the exorcism room. We picked this room because we thought it would be a little haunted. So we're gonna check out this meter and see if we can detect any activity. Very Canadian of you, Kidoot. Kidoot? It seems to radiate towards the bathroom. See, if you, if you point it this way, it's gonna light up. And it makes no sense. It doesn't light up to like electronics or anything. So we're gonna go check this out. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to find a ghost or something spooky. <coughs> So, I'm guessing red means bad. The spirit seems to be moving a lot. This may detect ghosts. It also may just detect studs in the wall. It's kind of cold over here. Not really a believer in the paranormal, but I felt evil before. Yeah, like, it's lighting up in the bathtub. But... The source of it just keeps on moving. <laughs> Comment on this video if I'm using this thing wrong. Yeah, it's definitely stronger in the bathroom, just like the people at the front desk said. Ooh. 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 Well, obviously the demon's in the bathroom, so... Time to expel a demon. Come on in. Hey. hey man, long time no see. Hey, how are you? I brought you guys something. What is that? It's a clown. Uh, oh yeah, and uh, to help with the becoming millionaires. Okay. I really, I really, I really can't do much if it's uh, money with Chinese writing on it. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. Man. Haim, right? Yeah, Haim. Perfect. Yeah, do you remember us? Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. I do. So this is uh, Vladimir Lenin okay. with a clown hat on. Mm -hmm. It's made by Kid Robot. Wow. By an artist named Kozik. All right. And, uh, yeah, he's missing his cigar, but I figure you could roll okay. a piece of paper and put okay. it in his mouth. Okay. Yeah, could we put it on the shelf somewhere? Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Let's see where you're gonna put it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I really appreciate that. Thank you. It's good did you, did you put your put name or something on the... I could put my name on yeah. there. You have a yeah. Sharpie? Yeah. I got a red one. Okay. Got red one? Yeah. Um, should I put the name of our show? Yeah. Okay. We are at Strange America. Perfect. And I'm Chris Peck. Thank you for uh, watching. Perfect. Thanks, Thank Andy. you so much. Thank you. Thank you.